so folks welcome back to my youtube channel now this will be a preview of the game that's happening today Sunderland against Millwall a big game it is too because there's been a little break and it's a couple of weeks or so two or three weeks <clears throat> excuse me and uh, basically I think this break I think it could have helped the players because when I saw the last match the, they were looking a little bit jaded and tired and I thought this break will just give them that freshen up and the fact that we're the only game playing today is very strange because this game was rearranged when the, the COVID was kicking around and stuff like that and so they rearranged it for the 3rd of December little knowing that the World Cup will be coming in and you know that's happening now and then everyone else comes back next week so so yeah so I just wanted to touch on a few things First of all, before I do that, I'm going to give a shout out to two people because I have been told to do this and I love doing it, you know, know the people are watching and that's good. So a shout out to Les, who I think safely is my number one fan, I think, closely followed by Kylie, who is my number two fan. Yes. So there we go. So it's a big shout out to you two. Hope you're having a fantastic weekend and loving Christmas on the way. And I cannot wait. We've got a Christmas party coming up next week and there's loads of things going on and different bits and bobs. So it's going to be great, fab. So let's get down to brass tacks. Now, way, way back, many, many years ago, when I first got into following football, I quickly learned that there's a lot of downs and a few ups. Now, that's not changed ever since following Sunderland. There's always been the same. You do get your up moments. And there's not many of them, but they do come around. So I think last season was a kind of surprise in a way because getting promoted, it didn't look like it at first when, when the season was first happening because um, I, I thought overall we just wouldn't have quite enough. But the lads, you know, give them credit. They've done us proud and they got up. So now in the championships, a totally different ball game. <clears throat> and games like Millwall, you know, you're playing your Birmingham's and people like that and Sheffield Wednesday and what have you. Not Sheffield Wednesday, sorry. Sheffield Wednesday's in the lower league. But your Birmingham's and your Millwall's and all of these teams that are going to come to your place and they're really going to give it their best because coming up to Sunderland for them, it's still an our class that does that. It's still a big thing for them to come up to us, a lot of teams in this league. And uh, we have to, today, we have to be really on our guard because Millwall is a funny team. They're, they're a dirty team in, in places at times when I've seen them. Yeah, they really get stuck in, you know, they fight for every ball and stuff like that. And they give every, every effort that they can and 100%, which is what every team should do. But these, you know, they really do get stuck in. So we're going to have to watch for that. No complacency, no tippy-tappy football, as I witnessed with England against bloody the Yanks, you know. That kind of football is just boring, negative, and it's not productive. So we need the likes, and I've got the team sheet here, so we need the likes of the back line. Or nine, which I think will probably sit nearer the back today um, to help out in defence with Bath, with Gooch, Elasey, and then Corey Evans. Now that there is a solid, pretty solid back five, as much as what we can put out. You know, it's not our best back five, but for what we've got and injuries and what have you, it's pretty much thereabouts, you know, as, as good as what we can do. I mean, Gooch in particular, who's just come back, he's not going to be match fit. So I think we're going to have to be a little bit wary of that, you know, try not to give that free kicks away and stuff like that and try and keep it very solid at the back keep it so our keepers quiet and that's the you the, know the ultimate aim keep Pato so he's not really doing an awful lot and just keep him quiet so if we can have a solid defense today like i said not give that free kicks away and you know, unnecessary passes going astray when they shouldn't you know need to uh, if we can keep that solid at the back and build from there and we've got in midfield, we have Pritchard, we have Dan Neal, Ahmad and Clark. Now that to me, uh, could be wrong, could be biased, but I think that's as good as a midfield as you'll get in the championship. Especially Ahmad, Pritchard and Jack Clark. 
I think they do a lot of productive things and um, Les might disagree with some of say some of the comments that I'm saying here but I do really think that that's a pretty good midfield nine as we can put out at this moment in time that's what I'm stressing as we can put out at this moment in time so maybe you know you could see you know the likes of one or two different ones like Embo you know you, people be saying well Embleton should be playing and this one should be playing you cannot play everybody and you have to sort of gel and mould people you know they might be having a sli slight knock they might be carrying a slight injury you don't know these things so if that's everybody there that can be at their best going forward as well as defending and with sims up front uh, it's great to have sims back you know it's really good because he gives us that outlet and he holds the ball up well he's good in the air he's brilliant in the air and he's good on the floor as well and for such a tall player, you don't often get that. So if he can keep it, the ball up and lay it off for the likes of Dan Neil, Pritchard, Ahmad, Clark, you know, people like that, we can get the game flowing and get an attack going pretty quick because that's the key, pace. Like I said before, no diddly daddling about and tippy-tappy football and all this rubbish. You need to attack with pace, go boom, 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 like quick short passes, little triangles and get up the pitch quick and get their defence out of shape, you know, get get into them a bit. And with us being at home, we have to make the initiative. We have to we have to really, you know, get on the front foot and start positively. So let's hope that that's the case. Now the form has been in and out, you know, the last 10, 12 games. It's been pretty much in and out. Uh I think if, like I said before, with injuries, you've got to always factor that in. So if we can just get people back who have been out for a quite a while, like of your Ross Stewart and people like that, uh, and Dan Ballard, you know, because he, like I said before, the back line is as best as we can put out now. But if Dan Ballard was fit, he would be in there. So that's, you know, that goes without saying. So I think Sims is the key today along with three from the mid and I'm taking Pritchard, I'm taking Ahmad and Clark especially. Not so much Dan Neil because he's more of a holding midfielder but with those three to get up front with Sims whenever we can do, do it quickly, do it positively and you know and you'll get a positive result. More often than not you'll get a positive result. So uh, I think score prediction I don't think it's going to be a high scoring game. I certainly don't think that. I think Millwall could easily get one. So um, the score prediction I'm going to say will edge it 2-1. There we go. 2-1. Not massive amount of goals. I mean three is about the average in the game these days, you know, in the championship. The fours and fives and sixes don't come along too often. Three, you know, four goals, five and upwards. Uh, if we can get the first goal, <clears throat> that could be key. Because here yeah, it'll settle the players down, it'll get the crowd going, it'll get the atmosphere built up, and uh, and I think that could just spur the lads on, you know, to get the victory. But the key is if we don't get the first goal, if they get the first goal, we mustn't let our heads drop. We've got to fight and still commit and get everything going forward positively, quickly, and as direct as possible. In most cases, direct. You know, sometimes you've got to build it up a little bit gradually but most cases direct if you can get down the wings that's the key with pace and we've got the pace we've got Jack Clark we've got Ahmad and Pritchard they love to get central down the wings and attack and bring the crosses in <coughs> for the likes of Sims to get on the end of so hopefully I'm going to I, I'm, am I really confident no because I don't think you can be at this moment in time I think we're, like I said we're a bit in and out with our performances but if we put in a positive show, first 10, 15 minutes, get right on the front foot, get into them and make it tell, you know, show what we're about. Not worry about, not instead of worrying about what they're about, just show them what we're about and get into them. I think we can get a positive result. So I'm going for a 2-1 win today. Now, a couple of other points that I'm going to touch on. This is uh, music related. So I'm going to throw a bit of music related points in here. 
Um, I am looking for to get recording started on a lot of songs. If not just before Christmas, i.e. the next week or two, then certainly straight after Christmas. Because me and, me and Paul definitely want to get begun on that. I've got six songs that need finishing off lyrics wise and a couple of more songs that I'm going to get sorted for the album. So the album I'm aiming, still aiming, I've always said roughly June, July of next year, I'm still aiming for that and get it done. So hopefully that's going to happen. So on the music front, it's going really well. I'm writing a lot of stuff and I'm happy with the melodies and the tunes and things. I've got some beautiful songs, in my humble opinion, to go on the album. So hopefully that will be, like I said, in pretty much good production and recording form straight after Christmas. Round about the middle to the end of January, get focused on that. So, yeah, so so the lads today, half past 12, kick off, it's, I'm looking at the clock, 5 to 12 now. So just over half an hour to go. So I'm hoping for, a, like I said, a positive performance to get on the front foot, to show Millwall what we're about, instead of worrying about what they're about. Sloppy passes. Don't give sloppy passes away. Keep possession. Keep it tidy. Keep it neat. Don't panic. You know, if, they, if they're just sitting back, which they probably will do for the first 10, 15 minutes maybe, just to get themselves into the game and assess where they're at. But we need to get into them if we can't get on that front foot. So a 2-1 win. First goal scorer, I think today will be Ahmad. So there we go. I've even given you the first goal scorer. So thanks again for watching this channel and again a shout out to Les and Kylie. Fantastic support I get from you guys and I really appreciate it. I really do. And uh, many more to come of these videos. So this is just a shorter one than normal. So yeah, so have a great weekend regardless of the result. It will help if we have a, a nice positive one for the England game tomorrow night, which I'll quickly give a prediction for is 2-0 to England. And there we go, Rashford to score first. So you heard it here first. There we go. Get your monies on. Do a double if you like, or just do the single. It's up to you. But there we go. So take care, everyone, and thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed, do so. And then I can see you on the other side, as I always say. Thank you.